They trusted us. Indictment for Dr. Fauci and his peers. God gave them sad brown eyes and faces that were kind. The kind of faces children love to find at dawn on Christmas Day. Or look into for sympathy, but hurting and alone. The kind of eyes that follow us through life and heartbreak love. Forsaking never even when all else and all the others go away. When unknown men came walking in, they brimmed with happy expectations. Wagging tails, their trusting faces shining with anticipation rays. Without words, it was with souls they understood. We were their best friends, and they were ours. A double bond in blood and love, decreed by the Creator before the dawning of the dawns. A truth deep written on their hearts and ours, like something scratched into the walls of prehistoric caves. One day a man-shaped shadow fell over life, while it was very fresh and new, with yet so much unlived. The young ones were taken, trustingly, to a room of stainless steel and ultraviolet light. The puppies licked the hands of those who led them to the obscene edge of arch betrayal, cooperating when injected too, a mere pinprick of pain. And then the world of sensory excitement and anticipated joy went dark, as drug-induced unconsciousness covered them like a shroud. After that, things would never be the same. They went trusting into darkness, and for just a little while, a friendly dreamscape comprehended them, Memory and instinct unleashed, the who and what they would have known in this life on earth. Bright shining rivers, hills of green, jeweled with morning dew. The birds and butterflies and creatures of all kind, rejoicing every one around the tree of life. Their beings amplified beyond our best imaginings. And to the many-colored scent of life, bright burning pixels of a dog's reality carried on currents of intoxicating air and remembered presence of their mothers nuzzling them. And then a glimpse of us as we were meant to be, their supernatural guardians and trusted friends. That was their final day of innocence, before they woke up to the murderous men in white with death's infectious bite marks on their souls and antiseptic perfume like clouds of egg-filled flies. That final sleep was peaceful without fear. No sense of what was happening to them in the white room where their sleeping bodies lay. The horror they would wake into. Because evil men were selling lives they hadn't made. Selling beauty, life, and friendship to disfigurement and death. In unconscious innocence, their necks were shaved in preparation for their voices to be surgically excised. Cut out to insulate their ghoulish torturers with manufactured quiet, a counterfeited peace from ugly truth. Their hound dog voices barks and bays there, howling into distances through woods and neighborhoods and deep into night's crystal starry skies. We're silenced now forever. But what need have they for voices anyway? For everything their voices might have meant no longer means a thing. Though mutilated by their trusted friends, they never could expect the terrors yet to come. Lab techs didn't look them in the eye when they pilloried compliant puppies to torture tables set to kill, locking little heads inside plastic boxes for parasitic insects to eat them while they lived. Strange arrays of imagery rampaged through their suffering minds as pain ran rabid and overtook them there, locked down and unable to run away, or even by an act of will to die. Torment that they couldn't understand was on them like devouring fire, and with their human friends so near and checking all the time, why did no one see or hear and no one move to comfort them? They trusted in us all the way, it seems. The howling in their minds was raw electric overload, high voltage snakes of melted circuitry as hordes of hungry jaws gnawed and sawed and burrowed into them for many days, until at last some inner life star got impelled, imploded, then exploded, and the lights went out they were here no more, just somewhere where there was no pain. They trusted us, God's viceroys to the dogs, our faithful to the end companions with a single deadly flaw. They trusted us.